Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and episode number 51 of this Did You Know series as we take a look at 5 more things you might not know in Dota 8 2K18. As always, if there's anything you'd like to suggest to be covered in this series, then leave a comment below and you could get a shout out in the next episode. Did you know that there is a mention of Bruno Sammartino when playing in his hometown of Pittsburgh? Previously in the series, we covered various references to superstars that are no longer in the game, such as Bob Bagland or Fit Finley. However, now Logan White reveals that there is also mention of WWE Hall of Famer Bruno Sammartino, who last appeared in WWE 2K14, as you can hear this audio when playing in his hometown of Pittsburgh. And as we get started, let me just say that it's so great to be back in Pittsburgh, the hometown of one of the greatest of all time, Bruno Sammartino. Did you know that there's a remixed version of the Hell March theme from Command & Conquer Red Alert 3 included in the game? Previously in the series, we covered how 2K have included various remixed themes in Create Show, one of which even features 80s Styles old TNA theme. However, now Matt Ryan reveals that there is also a remixed version of the Hell March theme from Command & Conquer Red Alert 3. This track can be found in Create Show when selecting the ECW One Night Stand theme, which is labelled as Ugly Truth. However, the track is actually a remix of Frank Lepaghi's track from Red Alert 3. Did you know it's possible to perform the Van Damnator without causing a disqualification? This one comes from Welcome to My World, who reveals somewhat of a cheat, as generally whenever you play a regular match with disqualifications enabled, using a chair to attack your opponent will see the referee disqualify you for your actions, however, should you use the Van Damnator chair attack, then you can actually use this move in front of the referee without causing a DQ. Whilst this isn't a massive cheat, one way it can be used to your advantage is when going up against other players, as a lot of players will let you hit them with the chair expecting to get the DQ win, however using the Van Damnator will instead see you take them out without being disqualified, giving you the advantage. Did you know that cruiserweights have a unique reversal when being grappled from the outside? This one comes from Caden G, who reveals that cruiserweights have their own unique reversal when reversing grapples made from the outside of the ring to the inside, as rather than perform the regular reversal animation that sees a superstar stamp on the hand of the attacker, reversing attempts with a cruiserweight will instead see them perform this unique dropkick to the outside. Did you know it's possible to climb up onto wooden tables and even make them unbreakable? This one comes from Hellraiser988, who reveals that it's actually possible to glitch a table in the same way as the steel steps, allowing you to climb up onto it and even perform moves without it breaking. To do this, you'll want to follow similar steps to those used for the new steel steps glitch, however, I will say that this glitch is a lot harder to perform as it only works with the table in a very specific position. So with that being said, to do this, what you want to do is choose to play an extreme rules match and choose an arena that has two announced tables at ringside such as Raw's War or Great Balls of Fire and then remove the pattern from the lower table and put your opponent through it. Once you've done this, remove the pattern from the other announced table and then grab yourself a wooden table from under the ring. Now this is the bit where things tend to get tricky as what you want to do is place the table on the floor next to the remaining announced table and then place the steel steps on the floor and run into them so that you push the wooden table under the announced table, however you'll want to make sure that the corner of the wooden table is glitched through the corner of the announced table otherwise this glitch won't work. Once you manage to get the table in the right position, the next step is to simply put your opponent through it, which upon doing so will see the table glitch and then allow you to walk on top of it and perform moves onto it without it actually breaking. What a spine buster by the game! And he delivers a brutal DDT! Oh, that's it! That's gotta be it! So there you go, that was 5 more things you might not know in Dota 2K18, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, I would love it if you could drop a like to show your support, as well as leaving a comment below to let me know what you made of today's features and if there's any other secrets, hints or easter eggs that you think I should cover. As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Diddy No episodes and smack that bell notification icon so that you can be notified the second a new video drops. Until next time though, all that's left for me to say is I hope you've enjoyed this video, have yourself an awesome day. I'll catch you later.